In April 2022, Tucson, Arizona made the list for Food & Wine Magazine's Next Great Food Cities. Having lived here almost 40 years, I'd have to agree. What are some of the most iconic restaurants Tucson is home to? In order to make the list today, Tucson restaurants had to be three things. They had to be local, they had to be around for at least 30 years, and they had to be something that all Tucsonans know and love. So let's get started. We start off with Casa Molina, which has multiple locations, including the original location, Midtown. They serve lunch and dinner. Casa Molina has been an important part of Tucson's food scene for almost 80 years, and it's still going strong, with fresh food made daily and family recipes handed down through four generations of Molinas. As the story goes, Gilbert Molina loved his sister Maria's food so much that he built her a restaurant in 1947. And I mean, he literally built her a restaurant. He built the adobes from the ground. He built the building himself. He even made all the furniture. At the time, the restaurant was considered way out east of Tucson on Speedway near Wilmot. Gilbert even patented his invention, the taco maker, which molded the corn tortillas ahead of time. The family continues to follow those original recipes at half dozen Molina's restaurants across Tucson. In addition to the original Casa Molina's on Speedway and Wilmot, there have been a couple other Casa Molina's, a Midway Molina's, and several El Molinito restaurants, all in the same family, many of which are still open today. Well, hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent here in Tucson, Arizona, and I love to eat, I love local businesses, and I love to take pictures of food, so I thought it was time to to make a video of some amazing iconic restaurants here in Tucson. So this will be only one of many Tucson restaurant videos. Make sure you're subscribing to follow along with more Tucson content, including Tucson food. And if you're a local Tucsonan, throw down the name of your favorite local iconic Tucson restaurant in the comments below. I'll probably end up putting it in my next video. And when you're ready to buy or sell a home in Tucson, you know who to call. All my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. You can check out out the rest of the channel for more content about Tucson and things to do and see and know about this place. And also make sure you check out the website tucsonfoodie.com to learn more about Tucson food and drink. We move on to El Corral, which is located in the foothills and they serve dinner. The historic restaurant El Corral was built almost a hundred years ago in 1926 and is believed to have been the very first restaurant, cafe or tavern east of Oracle Road. A few modifications have been made, but the building still stands to this day. Now completely surrounded by houses, businesses, and shopping, Agroland and Cattle Company took over the stewardship of the restaurant in 1975 and proudly continues to serve patrons with the best prime rib in Arizona. Sausage Shop Meat Market and Deli on the northwestern part of Midtown serves lunch and meats. This traditional style meat market and deli creates their own sausage, smokes meat on site, aged steaks cut to order and features a wide variety of cold cuts. When you're not ordering meats from the market, be sure to check out the biggest and one of the best selections of deli served sandwiches in all of Tucson. The Sausage Shop Meat Market and Deli is popular for their unique and delicious quality, reasonably priced sandwiches that are often big enough to share with one or even two friends. Gus Ballone's Restaurant and Robert's Restaurant both found Midtown Tucson, both serving breakfast breakfast and lunch. In 1965, Gus and Kay Ballone and their two daughters, Donna and Laura, built and opened Gus Ballone's on East 22nd Street. Every customer always feels at home in this welcoming restaurant where the breakfast will always be hearty, the prices will always be reasonable, the portions will always be generous sizes, and the service will always be friendly. Oh, and the cinnamon rolls and pies will be delicious. And that brings us to some fun Tucson restaurant history. Gus Ballone and Kay Ballone's daughter Donna grew up and married a man named Robert, who learned the restaurant business from his father-in-law Gus. Robert and Donna eventually opened up another popular breakfast and lunch Midtown Tucson restaurant called Robert's in 1978. Today, Robert's is owned and operated by Robert and Donna's son Boyd, a third-generation Tucson and small business restaurant owner, keeping up the family tradition to provide true home cooking and 
great service that his grandpa Gus started in the 1960s. Here. Moro Corners Restaurant and Bar is located on the far east side and they serve lunch and dinner and Sunday brunch. Everything about Saguaro Corners is legendary. The ribs and barbecue sauce, the burgers, the tacos, the mountain views, the easy access to Saguaro National Park East, the unpretentious vibe, even the iconic sign out in front of the building. The coolest thing about this place is that it has been located in the middle of nowhere since pretty much forever. It all started when Bert Calvert built a red and white hamburger stand on land he received as payment for a debt. This was back in 1956, almost 70 years ago, and the east side roads of Escalante and Old Spanish Trail were mostly unpaved. As the small restaurant in the oasis became more popular, it grew bigger. A huge housing boom in the area has only added to the clientele, but the laid back, welcoming vibe still remains. Moving on to Minedito, located in South Tucson, and they serve lunch and dinner. Minedito was opened in 1952 by Ernesto and Alicia Lopez on the corner of 4th Avenue and 29th Street in historic South Tucson and has been a family-run business ever since. The restaurant was originally quite tiny and was therefore given the name Minedito, which means my little nest. Although renovations throughout the years have expanded the building due to growing clientele and popularity, Minedito prides itself in its authentic Sonoran cooking and strong Tucson tradition. Expect to wait to be seated, but trust me, it's worth it. Make sure you try my favorite dish, chile rellenos, but they are also known for their flautas, shredded beef, chimichangas, and enchiladas. The president's plate commemorates Bill Clinton's 1999 visit and has become a favorite menu item. Minedito has been chosen by Hispanic Magazine as one of the nation's top Hispanic restaurants and has won numerous awards in the past. Lucky Wishbone! There are multiple locations and they serve lunch and dinner. When the first Lucky Wishbone opened in 1953, it became Tucson's very first fast food restaurant. It was a hot July day in 1953 and reportedly hundreds of Tucsonans waited in long lines for hours just to get a taste of the wonderful smelling fried chicken. Lucky Wishbone became an instant success and has enjoyed doing business in Tucson for almost 70 years. As a Tucsonan whose parents were basically addicted to Lucky Wishbone, so I lived off the stuff growing up, I cannot say enough good things about the delicious fried chicken. Although the shrimp, coleslaw, and red dipping sauce are my go-tos whenever I stop by there. I hope you've learned a little bit about some of Tucson's most iconic restaurants in today's video. Most of these restaurants have been open longer than I've been alive. And as a born and raised Tucsonan, that means I've been going to them my entire life. If you're looking for a house to eat some delicious Tucson food inside of, please reach out to me. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this channel, and I'd love to help you buy or sell your next Tucson home. Throw down the name of your favorite Tucson iconic restaurant in the comments below, and I'll probably put it in my next video. I love to support local businesses, so if you have a Tucson business you'd like me to make a video about, please contact me directly. Explore the rest of this channel for other Tucson news and information about things to do and see and know about this city, my hometown. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.